Hey guys, hope you all having a great day. So in this video, we're going to go through the 2017 National Curriculum Test. So this is the Key Stage 1 SATs. And we're going to have a focus on the Maths Paper 1 Arithmetic Test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a step-by-step -step guide for a complete walkthrough of this paper. And we're going to take our time answering every question. So for you guys watching them, if it's um, the parents watching, please could you pause this video after every question and then allow your child to have a go. Otherwise, if this is for revision purposes, um, please let them watch the whole video while they take notes on every single question. Okay, so first things first, let's go through a practice question. So here we go. Okay, so we've got 4 minus 1. Now, very easy. You can probably guess that the answer is 3. But if you're not sure how to do that, you, the idea is to take 4 sticks, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then just simply subtract by 1. So we're left with 1, 2, 3. Easy. Now, let's move on to the, the actual test. So this is just a warm-up, just to understand how the structure of the test looks like. Okay, number one. So same method, yeah? So we've got 6 take away 4. So easy method, you've got 6 sticks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and you take 4 away. So cross them out, 1, 2, 3, 4, and you're left with 2. Okay, 99 add 1. So this is very easy. So you need to know your number bonds to 100. So you have 99, and if you know your number squares, or at least a um, quick way, you should know that the next number after 99 is 100. Good. Next one, 7 plus 8. Okay, so start from 8, and then count 7 more. So you got, you can add 7 more, so you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so it's going to be 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15. So the answer is 15. Okay, same thing for 22. So start 22 and then add 7 more. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Okay. Number 5. So an un a number which is equal to 15 take away 2. So 15 take away 2. So the same thing applies. So start from 15 and count 2 back. So 1, 2. So it'll be 14, 13. And the answer is 13. Okay, number 6. 20 plus 30 plus 50. So this one, they're testing us to add in 10s. Okay, so the idea is to only add in 10s. So let's start with the biggest number, 50. And let's use a number line. So let's add firstly 3 tens. So we've got 1 ten, 2 ten, 3 tens. So you can you can go up in tens. So this will be 60, 70, 80. Now adding two more tens, 1, 2. So 90, 100. So the answer, guys, is 100. Now number 7, 6 times 2. So this is a testing our two times table, guys. So make sure you know your two times table and count in two. So it'll be two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And because they want six times, you will count. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So six times two is twelve. This is usually mental. So if you guys know it mentally, you can just write the answer in. Now ninety minus eighty. Now, there's a trick here. You can count from 80 to 90s to see how many is left. Or you can start from 90 anyway and go 8 tens back. So you'll be going 1 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 tens. So from here, you're going to have 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Okay, and that's the answer is 10. Another trick is to start at 80 and go to 90. So you can see, you you see the difference is exactly one jump of 10, which is just plus 10. So the answer is 10. All right, guys. So 43 take away 5. So the same thing applies. So start 43 and go back by 5. So it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 42, 41, 40, 39, 38. Okay, moving on. 84 plus 12. Ooh, so now they're trying to make it a bit more challenging. So here we're allowed to use a couple of techniques. So let's do something known as the column method. So you line them up like this, tens and units. And then you add. 4 add 2 is 6. And 8 add 1 is 9. So 90. 
okay here we are guys so now we're trying to find the missing number so we're given 20 we need to add something to make 70 so we could use the inverse method okay so instead of adding something to 20 we could do 70 minus 20 so instead of adding we can subtract these two numbers so we can use um the column method if you guys want or we can start from a number line so from 70 you take away two tens so take away two tens so take away one ten will give us 60 and another 10 will give us 50. okay next one 97 at five easy stuff we'll start from 97 and add five more so 98 so let's so one two three four five so adding one unit, so 98, 99, 100, 101, and 102. Number 13. Oh, so now things are looking more complex. So 40, 47 at 50. So always put the bigger number on top and then add the, the smaller number. So using the column method, let's add, let's label this tens and units. So from the unit side, 0 at 7, you should get... 7 and 5 add 4 more should give you 9 so 97 you could actually use this column method for any adding sums if you like so try and practice using this as well now number 14 half of of um 14 okay so guys we got 14 and the trick is you can either draw two circles and put 14 dots or divide this by two so let's do the circle method so let's make sure this total number of, of uh, dots inside is 14. So we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So half means we just care about one circle, the dots. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the answer is 7. Another cool way to word this out, guys, is to, start, is to count in twos up to 14. So it would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14. And we can see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The seventh number is 14. So the answer is 7. Easy stuff. Okay, 2 divided by 2. So this literally means half of 2. Okay, so half of 2 is just 1. Way to find out, draw two circles and make sure they add up to make two. So one, two. So just one circle has one. Eight times three. So this is a test of your three times table. So let's count in threes to get up to eight. So we're going to do three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, and thirty. So let's count eight. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the answer is 24. <clears throat> so you guys are doing well. If you're following this video so far, seriously, give yourself a pat on the back because you're doing amazing. Now keep focusing. So we've got three plus an unknown plus six gives us 60. First, what does three and six make? We know three at six should give us a nine. So nine plus an unknown number gives us 16. So here we could do the inverse method. So from 9 we need to add a certain number to get the 16. So we could do 16 take away 9, the inverse method. And here if you do 16 take away 9 and use a number line, you should get 7. So the final answer is 7. Okay, 5 times 12. So again, count in 5s up to 12. So and in the fight, so do the 5 times table 12 times. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So sometimes you need to go on and on. If you already know this by heart, then you can write the answer. But for those who don't know, we just count. So it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the answer is 60. Last one. Eight, uh, not last one. How many left we got? Oh, quite a few. So next one, 85 minus 21. So here, they give you a square. So try use the column method. So write 85 and 21. And take away. So so tens here, units. 5 take away 1 is 4. 8 take away 2 is 6. So 64. Okay, guys, number 20. So now we need to do 92 take away 60. 
So let's use the cells again. So we'll put 92 here, so the tens in units as usual, and 60 underneath. And now we're just gonna take away these two numbers. So two takeaways, nothing is two. Nine takeaway six should give us three. So the answer is 32. Now, oh, so now things again different. So 52 at 29. So once again, write 52 and 29 and add them up. So be very careful here. So remember, this only goes up to, this might go big. This numbers will be bigger than 10. So check it out. So we've got two add nine would give us 11. So instead of writing 11 here, we put the one here and carry the other one there. So this says 11. So we have one add five, which is six, add two more, which is eight. So we're given 81. Okay, 80 divided by 10. Ooh, so this is your 10 times table. So you see how many tens you, you, you need to get to 80. So let's count tens up to 80. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Okay, so how many numbers was that? So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So common sense will tell you that everything's going up in tens, but it looks like everything's also going up in ones because 1, 2, 3, 4. So you can just look at the number in front and realize 8 would just be 80 times. 80 would just be 8 times. And, whoa, still got more to go, guys. How many questions are there? So end of test, so we got up to 25. So we're almost there, yeah? So, so far we've done 22 now we're on 23. So something take away 12 gives us 36. So we can use the inverse method. Instead of taking away by 12, we can add 12. So 36 add 12. So we can write here 36 plus 12. Add them up. So 6 add 2 is 8. 3 add 1 is 4. So this means that 48 take away 12 is 36. Or 36 add 12 is 48. Cool way actually. One third of 12. So in this one, you could just simply count in threes until you get to 12. So let's do it. So we've got three, six, nine, 12. And how many threes are there in, to, until we get to 12? One, two, three, four. So the answer is four. Okay, 91 take with 48. Ooh. Let's see. So same thing again. So we're going to do. 91 take away 48 using the column method now here is a problem so we do one take away eight we cannot do you can't do small number take away big number so you can never do that so we have to borrow from the neighbor the nine cross out the nine reduce it by one so it becomes an eight and give the one you took to this number so now it's 11 okay so take note so borrow the number and give it to one so it becomes 11 so 11 take away eight you should get three 8 take away 4 should be 4. So the final answer is 43. And that's it, guys. So I just want to say thank you for watching. If you managed to watch the whole video, then bravo. You guys did amazing. You know, seriously, give yourself a pat on the back and be proud of yourself. And say thanks to your parents for as well for really helping you guys out. You guys were really working hard. But other than that, I want you guys to watch the next videos. And if you've already seen them more, then just take a break and relax and go help your parents. So anyways, other than this, I will catch you guys soon. So, ciao.